We turn now to our weekly Bloomberg Business Week feature where we profile some stories in the latest issue. And this week we have a special pursuits feature, how to spend that bonus. So first up, play the property game, buying large chunks of land just makes sense with a future uh, with a future worth that could be self-sustaining. And then invest in a better world. You can always use your cash to benefit those in need. Plus buy yourself some stuff from kitchen knives to Nike sneakers and a Chanel boy bag. It's okay to splurge on yourself. Well, joining us now is Chris Rovzar, uh, Bloomberg Pursuits editor. So let's start with the property. Why do we want to be buying property right now? Well, the whole point of the, our gift guide this year is that, you know, your bonus is an appreciation for you. You should invest in something that will appreciate for yourself. Uh, and property across the U.S., uh, prices are just beginning to bounce back up because more just mortgage rates are so low. So why don't you invest in a mm -hmm. piece of land that will actually become more valuable over time? And we found a great one in upstate New York, uh, in Old Chatham, in the Hudson Valley, which is actually at 200 acres and has a working farm. So it actually can make some money for you as you're just sitting there. But do you have to like work in the farm? <laughs> Prefer hopefully you don't do the working. This is a, almost a $4 million property. Hopefully you've got a little money to invest ah. in some, some helping hands there. Uh, but it's a 1790 farmhouse. It's actually a really beautiful place. Uh, my kind of place, really old school. All right, let's get to the second one, which is charity. This is what my husband says, spends his bonus on. It's true. Uh, oh, good. Charity, where are some of the places where you can actually get some bang for that buck? Yeah, so, you know, one of our very favorite charities is the World Central Kitchen, which is Jose Andres's charity. They do a lot of amazing work in Puerto Rico and also other places around the world uh, that have been hit by natural disasters. Um, and for $10,000, you can actually buy a greenhouse for a working farmer or a walk-in uh, refrigerator for a food provider. And World Central Kitchen, no matter how much money they give you, they train people uh, in the food service industry. So you're giving people jobs that will last for the rest of their lives, and you're also investing in a local hmm. community so it's a really really great cause uh, and what about sort of visiting areas where you can kind of spend your money to get there and then donates your time like any word on that yeah so we this is another thing that we love to write about pursuits we're constantly telling you to go to the most beautiful exotic places in the world but you can do that and you can actually sort of help the world so um, elevate destinations is a place that we love it's in Sri hmm. Lanka and uh, for a little more than three thousand dollars you can take a trip there and every um, and every trip that they do actually gives money to uh, local communities and had to send their kids to cultural sites and then while you're there on one of these Sri Lanka trips you can actually help study uh, elephants so it's a, it's a cool way to sort of interact with elephants elephant experiences aren't actually used usually great for the environment and great for the elements, elephants, but uh, in this case, you can actually help them research elephants and help us improve the relationships between humans and elephants. All right, so let's go from altruistic to totally selfish. You can also just buy yourself some stuff that are nice. Uh, you have a couple things that you looked at. Let's start with those, of course, Chanel bags. Yeah, so, um, you know, you've heard of uh, the Birkin bag. It's probably the most investable bag. But in uh, 2012, uh, Chanel came out with the boy bag, which is sort of a rectangular bag about this big. It can either be a clutch or uh, it hangs on a, a metal strap. Um, and they actually hold 74% of their value, or in some cases, they actually go up in value. So you can get yourself a nice bag, mm. uh, and depending on the materials and the hardware, it actually can go up in value. So this is, this is one of the mm. new investable bags, which we love. Um, and then, you know, if you're more into sneakers, we have uh, a $120 Nike Air Max Verona, which was released during the Super Bowl. It's in, it's in pink. You have to actually call and negotiate to get them to sell it to you. And, you know, we, sneakers are so hot right now. There's a whole uh, investments um, network called StockX where you can invest in sneakers. And this is just one way in. And then, of course, if you want some jewelry, uh, Cartier is actually the most investable and appreciated brand. Um, and there's a bangle that we found at Fiona Druckenmiller's uh, vintage shop here in, in New York. And uh, that is $8,800. And that's almost guaranteed to go up in value. 